Ivy here, and today I'm going to review the Diane Ling Yun. So, this is the box it comes in. It's a blue box. It's, um, according to the Yun, which means clouds, so that's why they made blue box. Just in case you were wondering. This is supposedly the third cube Diane made. So, that's how the box is. Exactly. Really similar as the Gu Hong. So when you open it, you get nothing else but the Ling Yun. So, at first sight, the Ling Yun looks smaller than the Gu Hong. It's also more rounded than the Gu Hong. If you hold the Gu Hong, you can right away notice that the pieces are really big. And it's also really, really square. And when you first touch the Ling Yun, you immediately feel that it is faster and that it's just more rounded and it's smaller. Size comparison the Dian Gu Hong is a tad bit bigger. So that gives you an idea of the physical difference of the Dian Ling Yun and the Dian Gu Hong. Now the Gu Hong is the king of cutting. I mean cutting at 45 degrees with no effort is it automatically makes it a better, the best cutting cube out there. What they did is that they increased surface area and friction so that it has something to grab onto when it's cutting. But this also made the cube slower than it can be and Dian knows that. That's why on the Ling Yun, they, in, they decrease friction and surface area, which made the cube extremely fast. But it also made the cube worse at cutting. A lot worse at cutting. As you can see, it can still cut 45 degrees. It's just that it takes lots of effort. See, it has the ability to cut it. It just takes lots of effort. But lower cuts... It can do it with no problem. Line to line, no problem. So, this cube is extremely fast. It's just that it's worse at cutting than the Gu Hong. There are lots of things to talk about in the interior of the Ling Yun, but I'm going to try to make it brief. As brief as possible, at least. So, I want to compare it with the Gu Hong to show you how different they are. So, as you can see with the Gu Hong, it has lots of surface area. And there is just lots of places to hold on to. Now, with the Ling Yun, there's barely any surface area, as you can see. It's just this little part over here. And to addition to that, there are tracks, which makes the surface area even less, and the friction even less. Now, if we look at the corner piece, this has lots of space to hold on to. This whole place... You can hold on to it. And the stock over here is long and it's curved. Now if we look at this piece from the Lin Yun, you can see that the dip in here is amazingly big. See how big that dip is? Over here. Look how big that dip is. This makes the surface area really, really less and it doesn't even curve that much over here. It's technically flat. And as you can see in the inside, it is really round and ball-like. And the core in here is a Rubik's Brown core. In here, as you can see, is less round and less ball-like, more flat. And the core is a white core, which is the same core as the Diangsheng. And the Diangsheng is a really fast cube. So that's probably a factor that helped it become even faster. Now the Dian Ling Yun is extremely fast. Let me close in a bit. Um, it's... If you're anything like me, you use the M slides for the Z perm and the H perm. And you can actually turn the M slice 180 degrees with just one turn. That's how fast this cube can be. Now, with the side layers, let me just show you how fast they are too. 
it can actually turn 360 degrees. So here I have the, so you can see, 360 degrees. So that's just an idea of how fast this cube is. This cube is, I have to say, faster than my Hyon's memory cube. And this cube is looped with Lubix. This cube is looped with just that lubricant that it comes with. If you can't afford a Hyon's memory cube, you can most definitely get this. It is even faster than it, so why not? Now the cutting. The cutting on this cube is... It's like a regular cube. I mean, it's a little more than regular cube because if you try hard, you can cut 45 degrees. As you can see, but you need lots of effort. I had to use a whole hand. Lines lying, no problem. And that is actually all you need. Now, lots of people are afraid to buy this cube because they think that it will pop too much. Because lots of people said that it, it popped a lot. And I don't really understand why they say that. As you can see, my tension is really tight. You see how tight that is? Yeah, and it can still turn 360 degrees, right? So, just when you get this cube, make it at a really tight tension, at around this tight. And it should be still be able to turn 360 degrees. And that way, it's tight, so that it has really less pops. It haven't popped on me once. And also, it can be still really fast. My cube is so good that it and it does not pop so much that it's hard for me to even take out a piece and put back in a piece. So it just, it doesn't pop that much if you put in the right tension. The stickers on this is actually it's okay. I mean the colors are a bit dull, especially on a black one. The blue is normal, not complainable. The white is just white. The green is a little bit darker than your my actual liking but it's okay the this is a yellow it is really dull I do not like it the the orange is really dull and the red is a little too dark for me but the quality itself is really good it's vinyl quality and it would chip instead of peeling so the sticker quality is acceptable and because it it still leaves a frame of plastic around it. It makes this cube look very much like the tile cube from Cube for You. And I like how it looks. So all in all, this cube is just really good. It is extremely fast. It's normal at cutting. It never pops if you put it at the right tension. Of course, the right tension is a little bit hard to find. You're gonna have to mess around with it for a few minutes. Of course, you can let me do it by purchasing a cube care service, or you can find it yourself. And, um, it's just, this cube is fast, and especially if you're too poor for a high memory cube, not too poor, don't want to spend that much money on it, you should most definitely buy this cube, because this cube is absolutely amazing. I will have a link below on where you can buy it, www.iqmart.com. We sell it for only $11, cheapest price in the U.S., and yeah, so this cube is really recommended. It is really good, really worthy of a main speed cube. Alright guys, see you in the next video.